The great thing about uh, humans in general is we're always improving things. And so entrepreneurs um, uh, and inventors, uh, and you know, if they follow their curiosity and they follow their passions and they figure something out and then they figure out how to make it better and they're never satisfied. My approach to criticism and what I teach and preach inside Amazon is when you're criticized, first look in a mirror and decide. Are your critics right? If they're right, change. We would be very naive to believe that we're not going to be criticized. I mean, that's just part of the terrain. You have to accept that. One thing that I tell people is, if you're going to be, if you're going to do anything new or innovative, you have to be willing to be misunderstood. If you cannot, if you can't afford to be misunderstood, then for goodness sake, don't do anything new or innovative. When you think about the things that you will regret when you're 80, they are almost always the things that you did not do. They are acts of omission. They're not, you're not, very rarely are you gonna regret something that you did and it failed and didn't work or whatever. But the acts of omission, the thing, you know, it's not, and again, I'm not just talking about business things. It's like, you know, uh, I loved that person and I never told them. And then, you know, 50 years later, you'd be like, why didn't I tell her? You know, why didn't I go after it? So that's the kind of, that's the kind of life regret that is very hard to uh, be happy about when you're telling yourself in a private moment that story of your life. Um, so I think it's, it's um, anyway, I have been, I've been won that lottery. I won that lottery of having um, so many people in my life um, who gave, have given me that uh, unconditional love. This work-life harmony thing is what I try to teach and the reality is if I'm happy at home, I come into the office with tremendous energy. And if I'm happy at work, I come home with tremendous energy. And so it actually is a circle. It's not a balance. And, um, and I think that that is, uh, is worth everybody paying attention to. You, want to have your, you never want to be that guy. And we all know, we all have a coworker who is that person who as soon as they come into the meeting, they drain all of the energy out of the room. You can just feel the energy level go that you don't want to be that guy. So you want to come into the office and give everybody a kick in their step.